like the look of the canvas cards, but they're really, it sometimes can be difficult to clean um, if you're using like polish or anything like that because they're not, a, it's really not a surface you want to polish. It's got a raw finish, so there's not really much room for improvement in that regard. And it's the same on the back too, but these cards are pretty soft. And as you can see, they take, it only takes a little bit to mess up the corners. So I'm gonna do my best here guys to show you a couple techniques when it comes to, in this case, an upper deck canvas, but really like any canvas card. So I wanna kinda unpack these and then try to hopefully get the, get them all straight again. So I figured I'll try the camera so you can join me. I'm gonna work on these one at a time. So like, there's a, it looks like it's a white corner, but I can still see the paint on here. It's just, the card is just folded up. It's gonna be delicate. Lay that right back into place like this. That's kind of like a before. There's an after so far. We'll call it a so far. There we go. Same deal, we got what it appears looks like it's missing paper. Always look at your corners. If, it, if you're missing paper, it's game over. If it's still there, you can typically get it to fold back if you're careful. It's just like that. Not bad so far, huh? So a little bend. This head looks good, but see how that has a little bend to it? I'll get as much as it as much as that bend as I can out. right now and if it still remains which i think it's gonna a little bit don't worry we'll go to a plan b yeah all the corners are beat up i want to be mindful of like putting pressure on it but not wiping the paint off the surface Always test on base cards like this because there's some really good um, canvas cards out there that I have my eye on that I like, but they all had like little edges and corners issues. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's get something cheap and try on that first. Pretty good. It's 
All right, I'm happy with this, but there's something I want to see. If you can still see, we got a little crease. Like I'm gonna use the tortillon. There's like a little, little line in there. So what I want to do is use a little bit of card spray. Now these cards soak up moisture quick. So it's not something you need to use a lot of, but I'm just wanna transfer a little bit of spray on that line. Just like that. See how it just it started to disappear? I'm just gonna tap it. Now you, you might see this other yellow line right there. It's not a crease. It's part, that's, that yellow line right there is part of the art. There was like a little crease right there. Always use good lighting too, guys. That's if you ever see me just like kind of rocking these things, it's because I'm trying to catch it under the light to see if I left anything in there, like a little bend or a little crease. Because if you like to grade your cards, you don't want any little things getting past you. So just get some good light. That might be, it might be a little crease right there going through that guy's face too. I'm talking like right up here. Well. Now that I look at it from that angle, maybe not. It might just be the card. Maybe. Sorry about that. What I was doing was I just put a little bit of card spray in that upper area. Trying to give you a good view, but I was looking at the card. Maybe that was a little wrinkle. It's out of there now. So remember, we put a little bit of moisture in there. It's probably still a little tiny bit wet. But just for good safekeeping, I'm going to bring in an oversized sleeve. Another plate. Now, since this corner is holding a little bit of moisture, I don't want to clip this thing and put it away. That will smash it down. It will leave a weird texture and it won't work. I just want to kind of like finish the job by getting that corner like that. Like that. Just using a little, just using my thumb to press. Sorry guys, I get a little out of focus here. That's what I'm trying to get. That was one that was curved, I think, too. It's in shape. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm still seeing a little, there it is, a little bit of uptick. Let's just repeat that process. I'm gonna get a little bit of card spray. I don't even know how to measure that amount. It's like a touch, a very, very, very small touch. Just holding medium pressure. I mean, nothing, nothing strenuous, just putting a little bit of my thumbs there. And then I'm just going to let this card dry now because I'll let that little bit of moisture that's in there dry out. Oh, good. We got rid of the line. That's what I was aiming for. Back to being flat. Flat. All right, we'll take it. So don't forget, guys, get out your base cards. If there's a card that you like and you're checking it out and it's like online or something, and you're like, how oh, can I fix this? Can I do anything with it? Just get out a cheapie and work on it. You know, that gives me the confidence now to pretty much work on any canvas card with a corner or an edge problem. If it's missing paint, I won't get this far, but if it's in condition like that, you can get it back to almost looking pretty darn near met. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.